Okay, so I'm going to say this several times here before I uh, start talking. Look, there was legitimate, legitimate footage leaked of Avengers Endgame a couple days ago. Real footage from the film. Not doctored, not, you know, screenshots. Actual, like, four-minute clips from different parts of the movie leaked. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be discussing this on this video. Please, only watch this video if you don't care about the spoilers in that leaked footage. If you do not want to be spoiled on Avengers Endgame in any capacity, because there are some big time spoilers here, do not watch this video. I'm trying to be courteous. I'm trying to be, you know, honest. Because I know a lot of folks do not want to have this movie spoiled for them. And I don't even know everything. I'm going into the film not knowing much. But I really really feel like if you don't want to be spoiled don't watch this video okay let's talk about the leaked footage so four minutes of Avengers Endgame leaked and boy is there a lot to talk about so my thoughts on the footage I don't know about you guys but and I'm talking to those who watched the footage I'm actually more hyped for the movie now I'm not mad that I got spoiled you want to know why because not everything was spoiled there were still more things that were not revealed in these leaks. There were still more things that actually, in many ways, these leaks raised more questions, you know, than actually answered questions that I had going in. So let's get into the spoilers. We found out that they are indeed going to be going back in time, and not just that, but also fighting previous timeline versions of themselves. There's a leaked clip where Captain America fights Captain America, and that sounds like a really cool idea. Um, they're going back in time to copy the infinity stones that's what i'm presuming is happening and we did confirm which was already confirmed through a toy leak that there is going to be another gauntlet that's created by uh iron man by tony stark so they're gonna have to go through and get stones for that gauntlet there's a scene where hulk puts the gauntlet on and he's like struggling and the avengers are like banner hang in there banner hang in there and we see also um like, there's also a scene, speaking of Banner, where they go back and they see the Hulk smashing stuff. And, you know, and then, because uh, he's Professor Hulk. They confirmed it nice, Professor Hulk. And then Banner's going to, like, you know, he's kind of embarrassed that his old self, you know, did that. That was really funny. Uh, also, there's a scene where, like, they find Thor and he has this huge beard. Uh, like, it looks like a homeless man. I have no context for that. I don't know if they're going to go to a different timeline version of Thor or if he gets thrashed at some point. But obviously some time has passed because Thor has the big beard and Tony, I guess, has gray hair in a couple of scenes. So there is going to be a time skip at some point in the film to the future, I presume. Also, uh, there was a clip of the Avengers, the original three, you know, Thor, Cap, and Iron Man fighting Thanos. That looks really awesome. I think at Avengers headquarters, that looks pretty cool. And then, of course, there's the clip where Captain America uses Thor's hammer. Now, this is, that is a prediction I made, I don't know how long ago. Actually, I think it was in the back of my head when I watched Age of Ultron because they teased it in Age of Ultron. Remember that scene where he's trying to lift the hammer and he almost does. You know, only the worthy ones can do it. In this movie, he lifts the hammer and uses it to fight Thanos. And it's pretty cool because, like, he's using it very effectively. He's hammering the dude in the face. Of course, Thanos could take it and not die because he's freaking Thanos. Um, hitting him with the hammer and also being able to control the trajectory of the hammer to where he can catch it. Just like what Thor did. Because they have the scene later on, which gave me goosebumps. I mean, I think the best leaked scene the best scene that really gave me goosebumps that really had me you know and that really had me uh you know emotionally moved was when they show all the superheroes all the avengers dr strange they're all back to life they're all lined up cap grabs the hammer and he says you know avengers assemble which we all were hoping would happen we all kind of knew was going to happen. This is all stuff that should not... It is a spoiler, but it should not be a surprise because these are the things that the fans wanted. I mean, we knew that at some point Cap would say Avengers Assemble at some point uh, in the MCU. And we knew he'd probably use the hammer in this film. And he did. He does. He does it. So the Russos not only are in tune with what the fans want and are in tune with what makes sense for the narrative of the story... 
but they're also willing to give it to us without playing around and jerking us around like Ryan Johnson did. Yeah, I'm going to throw that one in here as well. But uh, that's what we want. I mean, and the thing is, there's nothing wrong with giving the people what they want as long as it makes sense for the story. Because the reality is, a story is supposed to give you what you want. The reason why they had Thanos win in the last movie is so that way when he loses in this movie, it's going to feel that much sweeter. That's just how you tell a story. And if you're a fan of anything, you know the villain's probably going to lose 99% of the time at the end of the story. So, in this case... You know, having Thanos lose, which they did not show Thanos losing. Um, they didn't show that, thank God. I don't know how he loses, but uh, they, you know, they, uh, we know it's happening. You know, you know it's happening. And it's not really a spoiler because it's happening. Like, we know, come on, but we, we don't know how. That did not leak. Um, also, they showed like, these like people on flying horses. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be the Valkyrie. I, I really, I'm not sure. They showed Giant Man. They showed um, a, a few more Iron Man suits. Just a big army of superheroes fighting Thanos' army. And there was a scene that they also showed where uh, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, gets reunited with Iron Man. And, you know, there was an awesome scene where they open up what, what appears to be like a portal into the uh, the quantum realm. And then Black Panther comes out. And it's really emotional. And then Falcon comes out. So I'm guessing that's going to be the resurrection of the heroes or they were already resurrected and they're being transported there through a portal in the quantum realm you know that could be what happens there very good scene there how you know black panther just walks out like i'm back you know that was cool um but uh the the scene that i'm talking about is when captain marvel apparently destroys a ship just smashes this freaking ship up and then Peter Parker runs up to her and he's holding something and she's like, do you have something for me, Parker, Peter Parker or whatever? And it appears, and you can't really tell too much, but it appears like he's got the Infinity Gauntlet or at least the Tony Stark version. I'm not sure because earlier in the film, the Hulk tries to wear it. Maybe he's not powerful enough. Maybe it takes Captain Marvel's power to hold it. I don't know. Um, I have no idea. But it was cool because, you know, it's, it's Spider-Man interacting with Captain Marvel for the first time. You know, and that was cool. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to use the gauntlet, though, or if she's going to get it for somebody. I, there's no context there. The clips that have come out, we can speculate, but there are some that just don't have any context. And you can you can assume things, but we don't really know. I've seen some people assume that Captain Marvel's the one that beats Thanos with the, with the gauntlet, but I don't think so. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I actually think Marvel will be doing something else in the film. And I think she will fight Thanos, but I don't think she's going to be the one to actually defeat him. We don't know who that's going to be. So it also confirmed, too, that in that scene that's in the trailer with the Avengers walking and they have, like, the white, those white suits, the quantum suits, that Thor and Professor Hulk are also there. And we do know that they're going to be going back in time. Um, that is, you know, it, it's said in, in the movie. And obviously that scene of them walking, they don't show Thor or Hulk in the trailer, but they show it in the, in the leaked footage. So they purposely cut that part out. To kind of, you know, and CGI'd them out in the long shot purposely so that we would not know that they were there, which I thought was kind of a cool thing. They did the same thing with, um, or actually the opposite with the Infinity War trailer, how they put Hulk in that one scene where they're running. Yeah, they, they took him out in, uh, in this one, which again, very clever, uh, trailer manipulation there by the Russos. I don't remember, uh, I mean, I don't remember movies doing this years ago, and now they're doing it on purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. But uh, no, nonetheless, th and I think that scene where they go back in time happens early in the film. So I'm guessing that the first act of the movie, this could be a four-act structure movie instead of a three-act structure. It could just be, you know, they all reunite. Second act, they go back in time. Third act, they fight. No, maybe second act, they fight Thanos and lose. Then they go back in time and fix everything. Then they go fight him again and win. That's my prediction on that. But I don't know. I'm not. That's not a spoiler. But there's a whole lot of fake plot leaks that have been out for a while. So you got to be real careful when you go to Reddit and places like that because there could be a lot of fakery going on. I'm gonna probably. Well, I was gonna do videos covering it, but because I don't know what's real and what's not, I don't know if I will. Maybe if I find a convincing one, I'll do one because it's fun to read those anyways. You know, with you guys. But um, yeah. Avengers Endgame leaked footage. I got chills throughout most of it. I got chills seeing them all work together. Um, they didn't show anything with, with Tony Stark and, and, and Steve Rogers making up, even though there are scenes with them together. You don't actually see them, you know, the, the, that reunion, that emotional reunion. We don't, we don't see that in the leaked footage. 
Um, but it's cool that you have like Thor using Stormbreaker, then you have uh, Cap using the hammer. Like I always thought that was kind of a cool thing, you know, that they did that. Uh, I always thought it was neat because it's like they, they're using both major Asgardian weapons. You know what I'm saying, or whatever you want to call it. To uh, even though Stormbreaker is not really Asgardian, that's not really correct when I say that. So it, he made it in the previous film, but um, but it's still like cool that you know Thor's weapon is being used by Cap here. So again, no word as to who dies. Uh, rumors, of course, everywhere about this. No word about that, but I'm looking forward to it being a really emotional movie uh when we all go see it here in about a week a little bit a little under a little over a week thank you again hope you all have a great day and i will be dropping my mcu podcast um here on world of geekdom probably early next week as we prepare for avengers endgame talk to y'all soon